Chapter 1, Short or Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft Dialogue, Mr. Harris and Mr. Bull are on a jet flight from Paris to London. They have been chatting all the way, now their conversation is interrupted by one of the air hostesses. Attention please, ladies and gentlemen. We are now approaching Heathrow Airport. May we ask you to fasten your seat belts. Put the backs of your seats into the vertical position and extinguish your cigarettes in preparation for landing. On behalf of Captain Willis and his crew. Oh yeah. Here we go. Marvels, isn't it? It's taken us only 15 minutes to fly from Paris, and now there's the prospect of another 15 minutes traveling into London, with traffic jams all the way. Yes, I know. It's hopeless, isn't it? The bigger the aircraft, the noisier they become, and the faster they get, the longer the runways become. And the longer the runways get, the further the airport is from the city. I sometimes wonder whether it's going to be worth flying relatively short haul at all in a few years. I know what you mean. Of course, the answer may lie in developing these so called jump jets. Ah yes, I've heard of them. You mean those jet jet helicopters, don't you? Well, not exactly. They're just like an ordinary jet aircraft, actually, but the only difference is that you can sort of swivel the jet thrust ground through about 90 degrees so that the plane takes off and lands vertically, or at least, in a very short distance. But surely, the only aircraft of this type that's been developed is for military use, you know, the carrier, and that's pretty small. That's true. But they're hoping to extend the principal to airliners. Then you'd be able to hop from city center to city center, you know, from Horse Guards Parade to St. Peter's Square, or from the top of the Shell Building to the top of the Arc Trio. That will be the day. I can't see it myself. I mean, what about the noise factor? It's bad enough as it is. Yes, well noise is a great problem. But jump jets should help, because they take off vertically to 2,000 feet, instead of having to fly quite low over a large area, as they gain height, like conventional planes. And if they can get the noise down to an acceptable level, then fast interior city travel becomes a practical proposition, for example, London to Birmingham or London to Manchester, where at the moment there's no doubt about it, it's quicker to go by inter city express train. Maybe. But that's a long way off, don't you think? Just think of the problems of air traffic control in the middle of cities. Just imagine how sophisticated safety precautions would have to be. Yes, I agree. But something has to be done. Otherwise, we'll find that the time spent traveling to bigger, more expensive airports, farther and farther away from city centers, will far outweigh the advantages of short haul flights. I think I'd rather stay at home. Vocabulary and useful expressions. 
Traffic jam. A large number of vehicles unable to circulate. Short hauls. Short distances from Paris to London, for example. Line. Bean. Jump jet. A popular name for an aeroplane which can take off vertically. Not a helicopter. Swivel round. Turn one part of something round without turning all parts. Terrier. A British military aircraft, capable of vertical takeoff. See the picture. That will be the day. I don't think it is probable. I can see it myself. I can't imagine it happening. Intercity travel. Travel from one city to another. Precaution. Special care taken to cut down risk or danger.